card. Get well card, receipts, and corroborating uh, a witness. But okay. <laughs> Because right now, for them to come out with total lies, I think well, that's not right. This. So they're claiming that on September 12th of 2009, that the woman has a receipt for an abortion. They're claiming that five days later on September 17th, you sent a $700 check and that you sent it in a get well card. The get well card, it looks like it's included with your signature on, in the article. Have you seen it? And is that your signature? Uh, I haven't seen it, uh, but you know I can tell you uh, I send out so many get well, uh, send out so much of anything. But I can tell you right now, I never asked anyone to get an abortion. I never paid for an abortion, and it's a lie. And I'm going to continue to fight. You know, yeah, I tell you that's what they want. They want this seat, but right now they've energized me even more. All right, pause then it now. I, now let's let's be let's uh, let's just you know. so <laughs> it's just weird to me. I never want to be in a position to where I would say, hey, this person is lying, and especially if it's a a subject matter that I I don't know Mr. Herschel Walker. I don't really know the people who know him. So all I can do is just look at what he say and she uh, she say <laughs> he say she say and. When it comes to something like that, you know, you just be like, hey, I got to look at the integrity of this person. I got to look at their history. Uh, do they have uh, are they like a habitual liar? You know, things like that. But like I told you, if you proclaim yourself to be someone who is in a position to judge other people for the faults that they're doing or have done. Best believe somebody's going to find a speck in your eye. So here's Herschel Walker's son spilling the tea, just telling everything about his dad from from <laughs> the beginning to end. And this right here is very interesting. I stayed silent as the atrocities committed against my mom were downplayed. I stayed silent when it came out that my father, Herschel Walker, had all these random kids across the country, none of whom he raised. And you know my favorite issue to talk about is father absence. Surprise, because it affected me. That's why I talk about it all the time, because it affected me. Family values, people, he has four kids, four different women, wasn't in the house raising one of them. He was out having sex with other women. Do you care about family values? I was silent lie after lie after lie. The abortion card drops yesterday. It's literally his handwriting in the card. They say they have receipts, whatever. He gets on Twitter. He lies about it. Okay, I'm done. Done. Mm. Everything has been a lie. And so for the right to say I'm being suspicious for saying, hey, I'm, I'm done with the lies, when you all have been calling me saying, is this true about your dad? Gosh, we're not going to win Georgia, this candidate. That's been you. You have no idea what I've been through in my life. You have no idea what me and my mom have survived. We could have ended this on day one. We haven't. I haven't told any stories. Mm. I'm just saying don't lie. Don't lie on my mom. Don't lie on me. Don't lie on the lives you've destroyed and act like you're some moral family man. Y'all should care about that. Concern. So he has a good point. Now, why is he so upset? I mean, of course, he's upset at his his dad and the way that his dad is handling the situation. But to attack conservatives for trying to sweep this under the rug and deem his son as someone who's just being uh, just crazy or just doesn't know what he's talking about he's a kid you know things like that um that's what they do that's literally what they do and even for democrats to a certain extent they will pretend as if nothing i mean democrats will overreact and make the dumbest moves if something like this was to happen but with republicans they'll just pretend like it's not true you can have all the facts and the proof in the world. They will literally look at you and say, I have no idea what you're talking about. And they do it so well that they just have everybody else along with the lie. And there's literal proof. We can have proof of him walking, Herschel Walker walking into the clinic and pulling out his card and swiping. And then taking a receipt and leaving. And I guarantee you nine times out of ten, Republic Republicans will just like downplay it.
or don't even talk about it. So for Mr. Christian Walker here to be kind of taken back that Republicans would respond this way. Yeah, like we, that's that's kind of what happens when you roll with a group like that. But let's hear what he has to say about uh, Democrats. Conservatives. And then for people on the left to act as though I'm responsible for all of the things that he has done. I've talked about Father Epps, I've talked about these issues because they've been close to me, because they matter to me, because I went through it. That's why I've talked about it. So when you say, well, talk about your dad, but I am. I'm saying this behavior is atrocious. Don't come for me. You don't have to like my politics. You don't have to like me. You don't have to. I'm just saying I'm done with the lies. Okay. I, I haven't spoken to a lot of Democrats about this, so I only can speak for myself, but I'm just assuming <clears throat> when people say, if you have this story, and obviously, like he said, he's never really came out with this because, you know, it, it's never really been an issue um, until now. Are you kind of responsible for not telling people and, and i'm not saying tell people to like out your dad or to 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 make a mockery of them but you have a story and th at least that portion wasn't known nobody knew about that and if you guys know about something but you're purposely not telling people and you know your dad is pretending to be the 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 say all be all when it comes to abortion and family values i would think someone who has a platform and the information should be like uh dad you might want to uh rephrase that or and and, and publicly don't or, or even go to him and be like hey i i think you you're you're being a little disingenuous uh let's let's be a little bit more truthful and if he's not listening use your platform the same platform that you attack democrats and, and other people your dad is no different he's a politician and he's trying to lead people with lies and deceit and you know the truth but now that uh your your dad is you know lying upon you and your mom which is disgraceful now you want to tell people the truth. Well, I mean, it's already kind of almost too late. People already have their assumptions. They already have their opinions about whoever's running in that area. And, you know, it might persuade a couple of people, but the damage is already done. So whatever truths that you now want to speak out about is almost irrelevant. You know what I'm saying? So that's, I mean, I don't want to put everything on the sun, but... <clears throat> if you really believe in family values and men keeping uh, uh, responsible for their actions and you you really want to make it seem <clears throat> that that's what you truly believe in, you would have caught this out since day one. But it didn't affect you and you probably did want your dad to win because uh, that would definitely assist you in your political uh, adventures. But now, since the tables is turned, now we want to act like, you know, you know, hey, let me tell you guys the truth about my dad. And it's a little too late. We were told at the beginning of this, he was going to get ahead of his past, hold himself accountable, all of these different things. And that would have been fine. Go ahead. He didn't do anything. What politician has ever done that? You know how these politicians roll. I know you wasn't gullible enough to believe that. I don't know. Everything's been a lie. Everything's been downplayed. Everything's been cutting corners. The whole thing. And who, who is, whose expense is that at? Me, my mom, as we're chased down by the media, uh, we're, we're terrorized, all these different things. Uh, uh, people are questioning my authenticity. I'm done. Don't lie. Don't put this on me. You, this is a candidate issue, not a me issue. I wouldn't have spoken out if there weren't all these lies every day. But that's the thing. That is the thing. You know how politicians roll. You know they're not going to just come out and say, I messed up doing this. I suck at this. I messed this up. I had this many kids with this many women. Had You know that's not going to happen. 
So to believe that your dad was going to essentially uh, come out and not lie about it is 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 kind of confusing to me. So let's go ahead 